I realize I sound crazy when I say that they told me Matt Lauer is innocent and this woman should be ashamed of herself or maybe there too. Um, but um, what you have to understand is I caught the NSA hacking me. They told me in my head that it was a very big deal what I found out and that it was gonna be a huge deal. And they told me that everyone's gonna want me to keep it secret. And then my boss alluded to it, to the hack, to the way I caught him. And then the NSA showed up in my office the next day. So this is like three days. This is over a period of three days. So what I'm telling you is they told me, and this is not the only time it's happened. This is like a very real life example of proof that you can hack someone's brain. And I realized that's pretty freaky. But what I'm also trying to say is there are people that spend their entire life watching people behind the scenes and watching like how far men go and how men behave and what's acceptable behavior and um, that have actually had a very realist perspective of it. And then there's the media. And if the media hears a woman's accusation, it's over and they don't even think about the possibility that sex can be used as a weapon. They, they know it. And if there's anything that the media should actually have a realist perspective on, it's sex because everyone has a sex drive. And everyone understands that the mating process between men and women, um, a lot of the time, involves women trying to get raped. And I'm not saying, I mean, I know this is the worst thing I can ever talk about, but I, I, I was dating this girl that was trying to get me to rape her, and I felt like that, so I Googled it, and I, it turns out that that's more common than people realize, women wanting to get raped. Um, because they don't want to be a slut, but then they want the man to want them that much. I also read a book about it. Um, I'm not saying that we should scrutinize all, or we should discount all claims, but um, I'm saying we should especially focus on claims that involve actual rape, not um, we were almost messing around and uh, I thought that he didn't like me or I thought he didn't want me to have a job here or something. I don't know. I, I'm not 100% I'm not sure what happened with Matt Lauer. I have no idea. And that's the truth. The last thing I want to do is defend Jeffrey Epstein and Matt Lauer the same week because I know no one wants to defend these guys. No one, including me. No one wants to defend someone in that situation. But if there's anything I understand is the FBI and the way the FBI uses sex as a weapon. It's just part of their strategy. I mean, they have a strategy for beating people. Just like uh, when I got on the phone, I had a strategy, which was ask him questions, give him a little bit to talk and see what he wanted to talk about, uh, let him be heard, and then try to not talk to him for very long because I knew he was going to try to trap me, especially after uh, I noticed he was starting to lie. The real reason I got off the phone um, is because I got pissed and I was like about to like start screaming and I was like, all right, mm, I'm going to have to go. It's kind of like one of those situations where you get that mad and because... You have to understand, I lived through the Austin Bomber situation and I watched them murder this guy and you want to talk about feeling unsafe? I have no charges against me, I'm so confused, they're confiscating my money, they're, 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 they're censoring my, 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 my views on, on, media, on social media, they're censoring people, uh, people's ability to contact me, they're censoring everything, they're censoring like, my access to certain news, they're censoring everyone's access to certain news. Like certain stories come out, apparently only I see them. The, new, the news doesn't see any stories. Apparently Fox News will print it on their website. <laughs> Ironically enough, they'll print like weird, like news that no one else puts out there. All right, so all I'm saying is, um, yeah, I, I really don't think that you understand who the FBI is. I, I feel like uh, Rachel Maddow decided to side with the FBI because the FBI uh, was like, well, he's that bad. And uh, what I'll tell you is tell them the whole truth, whatever you want to say. I, I'm not I'm not sitting here going, oh, no, don't don't hide, hide whatever the FBI is saying. I mean, I'm, there are certain things that are classified like suspects. Like you shouldn't sit there and be like, well, I suspect that person. I suspect that, that you shouldn't. That's those are private people and also even public people. You shouldn't say that. Um, but you can also say like. Well, there are gang murderers and stuff, and you can say, well, there was this 12-year-old that got got killed for snitching or something in Chicago, and I'll say, dude. All right, so endorsements. I need black people to endorse me because if there's anything you can you know about me, if you're black and you watch me enough, is that I'm for bettering the black community, 
And I, I think I can do it better than anyone else. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. I can do it better because I'm the type of guy that thinks differently. And so, um, like, the game, he apparently does target practice with um, Don Imus. And I hope that he doesn't want to do target practice with me because I'm not like that. I mean, even, even I mean, I don't know what Don Imus is like, honestly, but I'm just saying I'm not, like... I think black is beautiful. I actually do. And it's hard to explain how I think, like, it's just like I think Japanese is beautiful. I think black is beautiful. And um, I know that everyone wants me to say everyone's, everyone's same, everything, and everyone's equal. I don't even know. Obviously, no one's equal. There's no such thing as equality. Equality is an illusion. Um, but um, your obsession with equality um, can create an illusion in it also because everything can make you sad and everything can make you want to live in Nigeria. I mean, everyone, I mean, apparently everyone decided they want to go live in Nigeria. It's like, <laughs> congratulations. Um, I hope you already have a, you're already used to carrying a gun. I mean, if I was an American in Nigeria, uh, there's no way I'd have, I'd carry two guns for sure. All right. So when I talk about maximum amount of bullets, I'm talking about 50 bullets loaded in magazines. That's the maximum I think someone should have when they're traveling especially. If you're at home, you have a bunch of magazines. It's like, I don't care how many bullets you have at home. And I don't even care how many bullets you have in the car. I care about how many bullets you have in a magazine. Uh, that's it. All right, I'm out of here.